<clears throat> Twitch chat. What do you think? What do you think blue team's gonna do here? They've just taken two towers at top. They've taken mid tower. They've taken bot tower. What is the best scenario here? Twitch chat. What do you guys think? Okay, it's um 17 minutes in. Mm -hmm. mm. Bear's not up yet. <clears throat> Okay, so a lot of people struggle at this point in the game. <clears throat> okay, what happens here is when you have all three retarded stuff like this, and you, you have a huge, you have a huge gold lead. This is a fucking 5k gold lead, 5,000. At this point in the game, it's fucking huge. What they need to do is they need to make sure that the side waves are pushed out. They need to go for Harold, and they need to actually group up. Or what they could do is they could have Timo on the side lane. Because he does have TP, they need Teemo to be on bot side now, and have uh, have the other four go for Harold, and then from there they can probably pressure mid and bot at the same time. That's probably the best um, action that you could do. But uh, what what tends to happen is uh, people forget that this fucking thing is, even exists. Uh, people will just start fucking a ramming in mid, and that's really bad if you have an advantage because it gives. It gives room for the opponents to catch up. It gives room for them to farm up, to stall the game out, and and hit, you know, higher item spikes. What the fuck is she building? What is this? All right, <clears throat> game's probably over because she's trolling. But I mean, whatever. Let's see what they do, guys. Let's see what they do. Let's observe diamond, not diamond five, gold five. I laid out the most optimal thing they could do, and I also laid out. The worst thing they could do. Or they could just fucking big- OH! Wait. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. I thought she was gonna fucking bait that Zed. Alright. Well, Teemo pushing top is okay too, but there really isn't any more objectives to get there. Cause, you know, he took the tier 2 already. Alright, uh, you know, Kane's doing his own fucking thing, farming. That's really fucking dumb. You know, his team is like A-ramming right here. They're about to get wrecked. Alright, and then Kane's like, oh shit, my team's getting fucked. And Timo, Timo's coming in, about to TP into four people. I don't know what he's thinking here, actually. Um, you know, team fight's already done, everyone's dead. Fucking Soraka coming in with the TP. They didn't pursue this kill for some reason, I don't know. Hold up, Kane's prioritizing Gromp over mid lane. That's what's up, dude, that's what I like to see. Alright, so GPS to back because this wave is being pressured, but he's, he's gonna be able to catch it. Timo gets blinded, gets fucking rooted by silence. Oh, never mind, doesn't get rooted. Alright, cool. So, Harold's got a minute left. Uh, if they were to start it now, they probably wouldn't get it, so... You know, th the most optimal play that they could have done was... Just didn't happen. More than likely, though, it's not because they're, they're choosing to ignore the play. It's more so that they don't recognize it as an option. So, what, what I like to... Uh, when I coach people, I don't like to tell people what is the only way to do something or you know when people ask me like oh when is it better to take like an inhibitor or when is it better to take uh, a Baron you know it's, it's really situational it really comes down to like what's happening in the game and stuff like that and <clears throat> it's better to consider every option that way you can make the best option given the circumstances that you have and so to like to see these things it's pretty hard, and if you if you can recognize these things in your game, you should convey that message to to your rest of your team. Say, hey guys, let's go for Harold, and I'll I'll split push, or you know, like if you don't communicate, if you don't tell your team exactly what it is that you want to do, they're not gonna know that it's even an option. You know, a lot of people are are afraid to type in in their solo queue games for some reason, and and they think that the only time that people do type is just to flame one another. But if you can effectively communicate with somebody else and tell them exactly what you want to do, then you're more likely to win the game.